Okay, before we start, I'd like to mention that I just moved things around a little bit. In our instant type speed stuff, I commented that out and I moved it out of the way. Also, in our designer, in our dialogue text, I checked the auto wrap text uh, option because I forgot to do that last time. And last time when I clicked on this and I hit go to went to replace with, I was looking to see if I could replace with rich text block. For some reason, I was only looking underneath the line and I didn't find it, so I just assumed we couldn't, but we don't, we can. Just thought I'd mention that, so let's get started. Last time when we left off, um, when we have a type speed, in other words, when we want the text to type itself out, what happens is it just shows up in chunks instead of typing itself out like we expect it to. That's because what's happening is instead of typing itself out in the middle of a text style and its closing tag, like this, like all you're over here like that. What's happening is it says, hey, the first character in our string is now is this less than sign, followed by N O M. And it doesn't know what to how to display these until we finally finish typing out this closing tag. And then it displays it all at once. So instead of doing that, what we want to do is we want it to do what I said earlier. We want to have our uh, starting tag and ending tag and start typing in here whatever the characters in here are going to be. So instead of setting our current text to be nothing, let's set that to be our opening and closing tag. So break this. Let's move these over. Just a bit. So over here we're going to set our current text after we set our target text. And what we're going to set it to is append. We're going to end with the closing tag, that's for sure. And to find out what our opening tag is, we can get our consume text. And we will find substring. We're going to find the index of the very first greater than sign, so this one over here. And we're going to tell our current text to get substring starting from the very beginning, so starting from here all the way to here. So we're going to get the number of characters plus one because it starts at zero into our length, and that's going to be our opening tag. So we're going to append that to the closing tag, and that's going to give us our current text. We're also going to have to tell our consumed text that it no longer has that opening tag, because when we start typing, we don't want to start typing from here. We want to start typing from here. So we're going to tell it, hey, normal tag no longer exists. Or the um, opening tag no longer exists. So we're going to tell our consume text to set our consume text. We're going to tell it to right chop that number of characters. The number of characters until we found the closing tag. So set consume text over here. And instead of setting our dialog text to be nothing, we're going to set our dialog text to be our current text to text. So let's test that out. Compile, save. Um, actually, let's break link to this branch. Compile, save. Hit play. And debug our your dialog widget. Our current text is not what it should be. It's just the closing tag. What's going on there? Current text. Oh, that's why. Uh, we're looking at our current text instead of our consumed text. Dragging our consumed text over here. Compile, save, and play. And we look at our dialog widget. Our current text, I mean, our consumed text no longer has that opening tag. And our current text is now the opening text plus the closing tag. All right, so that works fine. So what, what do we want to do when we do this um, branch and we finish our delay? Well, instead of just adding, what are we doing here? We're getting our first character from our consume text, and we're automatically just adding it to the end of our current text right now. That's what's happening at the moment. We want to change that slightly. So let's make ourselves, let's get ourselves some more room. Instead of adding it to the end, because right now if we add it to the end, we're going to add it over here, so it's going to go 
Well, right now this is what our consume text is, and we want to. Right now it would add the quote to the end over here, and it would start typing over here. Instead, what we want to do is we want to add it in the middle of here, or actually, to be more specific, we want it. We want to add it right before this end tag, because if we just keep adding it to the middle, it's going to go quote, and then a down over here, l, l, etc. It's going to type itself backwards. So we're going to start. Or we're gonna add it to three characters before the end of our uh, tech, our current text. So instead of doing the spend, first we're going to how should we do this actually? Let's get our current text. Maybe we should split. Does it have a from? All right, it does have a from end. So we're going to split from end, we're going to search for the less than sign, so we're going to search for this character right here, because it's from the end. So we're not finding this one, we're finding this one. And from that split, we are going to append, or I suppose we could just use this one. Let's get rid of this current text. The less string is going to be everything that's over here before that, so that's going to be fine. And then we're going to add our consume text first character. And then because our split is not, it gets rid of this, um, oh, what's the word? Less than symbol? Well, actually, at this point, we can just add our closing tag to the end of that because the, it's, the split happens right here. This is the left, this is the right, or actually, this is the right this is the right, but it doesn't really matter what the right is because it's always going to be this. So we can set that to be a current text and let's try that now. Compile, save, and we hit play. It types itself out, but you'll notice some weird sort of things that happen in the middle there. Let me make the text speed even slower so you can see it more clearly. Um, let's go, let's just go one. This is going to be atrociously slow. Press play. Okay, this was a little bit too slow. Uh, basically, what's happened? Uh, actually, we're almost there. Welcome back. Here it is. It's starting to type the t um, ending text over there. The ending tag, I mean, over there because our <clears throat> what's happening to our consume text? We're getting rid of it, getting rid of it, etc. Keep the, getting rid of it until we reach here. Now, when we reach here, what we want to do is type our next word instead of this ending tag and then this opening tag. I mean, this um, style tag and then the word. So how are we going to do that? Well, after this branch to see if we keep, if we keep typing or not, let's do another branch. Uh, actually, let's move these over a little bit. Move over here. We're gonna we're gonna do another branch, and what we're gonna ask is if our consume consume text starts with the less than sign. If it does not start with the less than sign, then we can keep moving forward. We can go over here. Otherwise, it does start with the less than sign, meaning that we just hit an end tag, and we want to do something else. We want to just when we reach the end tag, we want to automatically type out all this stuff, plus that next character. So we want to type out all this stuff immediately, and then move on. So true goes over here. What are we gonna do? Uh, well, we're gonna set our target. I mean, our current text for one. We know that for a fact. Set current text. I just want to disconnect this from the set current text over here because that's gonna mess it up slightly if we don't. So compile play. How are we going to do this? Well, we know that the first three characters are always going to be an ending tag. So what we can do is we can get rid of these first three characters and then we can search for our greater than sign. Because if we search for our greater than sign before we get rid of our first three characters, it's going to return this one instead of the one after our tag is complete in our consume text. So let's do that. Let's get our um, consume text. Get consume text. And we are going to right chop 
by 3 to get rid of that closing text. And then we are going to find substring. Oh, wait, it's a start position. Never mind. We don't have to actually do that. We can tell it to start from 3. So when we find substring, we can instead just say, hey, find our uh, greater than sign starting at the third character. So it starts over here and it moves on. Don't search from end. Doesn't matter if you use case, and we're going to look for this. And then we are going to get substring. Once again, we have to add one because, well, it's the uh, index is started zero with computer stuff. And we are going to append that to our current text uh, before the closing text, of course. So current text. Actually, let's just copy and paste this. Uh, split over here. That's where this was. Copy. Paste. Append over here. And instead of getting our substring, we're going to append that to it. Actually, we're going to add one. We're going to add two to this because we just could, because we don't just want our um, text tag. We also want the character after that. So we're going to add two to that instead. Okay. After that, we are going to set our consume text. We want to get rid of all that stuff. So set consume text. To be consumed text, right chop again. Let's see if this works. Right chop all that stuff into here. And of course, we set our text. Uh, copy, paste. Don't set current text. Like that. And this will loop back around to our uh, branch, where we check to see if we keep typing or not. Compile, save, let's see if that worked. Oh, let's make this much faster, because that's unbearably slow. Let's go 0.1. 10 times faster. Welcome back to this tutorial. Wow, it actually worked. Have you made a visual not before? Yes. I'm going to be completely honest. I did not expect to get that right the first time. Um, yeah. So I guess that would do it for making the typewriter effect work with our rich text node. I'm going to clean this up a bit just to make it cleaner. I'm going to clean this up in... Um, well, I'm not recording, just so I might as well just end the video here.